Welcome to Healings and Meditations with Frank Jordan and the Earth Mind Think Tank Group. We welcome all listeners and chatters. Any questions can be called in to 1-775-657-5973. 1-775-657-5973. If you're in the chat room on Wolf Spirit Radio, which is wolfspiritradio.com forward slash wolf chat, please post questions in uppercase letters, in capital letters. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> well, here we are with World Spirit Radio one time, one more time, and it is Saturday, the 24th of May, and we're having a beautiful weather in the Pacific Northwest again. Had some lovely rains come through. Reno and that area got as much as an inch in places, and uh, it, it did help the range considerably in wildlife and creatures like that, but didn't do a thing for the uh, irrigation problem or the Southern California. How's the, the rains that came through Southern California? Did you pick up anything of benefit? Yes, we did here in the high desert. We had a, a torrential downpour, but you know it was just for a few hours. Mm-hmm. Well, it helps out the life force of everything then. Okay. Does anyone have any requests this morning? Hi, Frank. This is Teresa. And uh, at the moment, I'm at a Canadian dowsing conference in Woodstock, Ontario. And uh, one of the topics that came up is that here in Ontario, the farmers are concerned that they're unable to plant their seeds because the uh, what the land is so overly saturated with rain. Mm-hmm. Today is a, a, a rare day. The sun is out. It's beautiful. Uh, but uh, we need a little bit of um, of the clouds to maybe head down towards California, I think. <laughs> All right. Let's put our intent towards that initially here then. We'll just reach out laterally. Uh, well, let's drop down into the into the unconscious mind to do that. So if we're ready for our meditation, <clears throat> take your awareness up in your forehead. Just be very comfortable and relaxed. Let this be your time, your time when you can not only contact your own inner self, but your high self, your oversoul. <clears throat> This is better than going to church because in church, um, while I'm not being judgmental, you can have wonderful contacts there too, but mostly it's a state of listening and attuning where in the work that we do, you actually become a co-creator. You know, with the two would end of the life force and God force consciousness and the grids of consciousness, we become effective and, and, um, in creating a more beneficial world. And that's much of what we do. So let's just take our awareness into our forehead and drop right straight back now into the soul center. And any of you who have a block in your forehead, it feels like a bright light sitting there <clears throat> just behind the head. That can be a, a, a religious implant that expects you and in fact it programs you through baptism to give up your personal power to the religion and so the religion has responsibility for your indwelling soul and so it, it would behoove you greatly to, to go to that religion and you just simply do that by extending your consciousness to it asking to be released be released and freed to find your own source of higher consciousness and have direct communication with God and high selves without going through the programming of the religious organization. And this is very important to develop your psychic abilities or to be able to use your, your extrasensory skills. So any of you out, who are out there now experiencing that block, it just feels like a, a warm light <clears throat> as you begin to move your point of awareness back in the third eye, it just sits there and blocks everything. So just release it, tell it to go back to its source. Thank it for the help it gave you in socializing you. 
that explain to it you no longer need <clears throat> guidance, that you're seeking guidance through your own counseling, and release it of responsibility for your indwelling soul. This does not mean you're going to go to hell or anything that you've been programmed because that, that is simply a, a, a power structure created by the organized religions. So release that. Send it back to its source. Now the reason I said that is and we've done this many times with the group before, but as new people coming on, uh, the instant I reach out into the common consciousness of whoever's listening, if very many people out there are experiencing that, I can feel it. It through the commonality of our group mind consciousness, I feel it sitting there, and so uh, that's the first thing we do. Now step on back deeper. As you step back deeper, you enter the soul. So, so reach out laterally <clears throat> to in the soul plane to all the other participants. And to anyone who has listened to the calls before, and they, who through free choice can, can extend your power and energy to assist. There you feel that kind of stabilizing oneness that comes in this level. Now take Step your awareness on back deeper into the psychic grid on the pineal area. And here's where you can have direct access to anyone you want to, to use your psychic ability or telepathy, mental contact. This is the psychic grid. But we won't use that for the moment. Just learn how to how to access through that. Now step back a deep, a, a level deeper into the subconscious mind, and this just feels like you're stepping backward out into space because you're moving out of the conscious mind control into the subconscious mind. You feel that expansion and openness. And because you have, don't have your brain focused on anything, it's just the waiting, waiting for your attention to be put on what you want to work on through the subconscious levels. Now, by dropping your awareness down the spine, you unify the chakra system down to the heart center. And if you feel any blocks or resistance as you move down, that's your point of information that you have blocks. Pattern things that need to be cleared. <clears throat> to do that, you simply wrap your awareness around the feeling. This is all done with feeling. Feeling is the language of the universe. Wrap your awareness around the block resistance and push it out right straight forward. The subconscious reminds by clearing the block. And you can do this to clear any pattern or program in your system, any memories, any any shocks or traumas. That is the basis of the clearing process. Now drop on down to the heart center. Take a moment to pause at the heart center and make contact with that bit of the indwelling God force. This is the spirit within that holds the spark and initiative life of life in your system. And you know you're there when you feel an, a, a second expansion. But this is one that holds all life force and this is the one that's in direct connection with universal consciousness that allows the galactic flow to come in and give us the power and ability we have to be exceptional human beings. Now drop on down lower down the spine to the root chakra. And here is, is the portal to the underworld. This is where the shaman go when they do their work. 
but we go into this under controlled conditions where we're safe as long as we don't go below the the, the heart center of the 12 chakras of earth mind if you get down into the, the lower chakras you're getting into we're getting feedback somebody's mic is open if you get into the lower chakras of the that octave of chakras this is where the help it is and and unless by necessity you don't want to go there keep that closed off so nothing can rise up in your system of a demonic nature in case it's triggered and those of you who have dealt in any kind of demonic activities or satanism before this is where you got your illusionary power and so it would bode you well to block that out release it so negativity has no control in your life or reality and if you know someone else who has been, been made subjected to these powers you, you can help them with desire and will and intent but by clearing and, and closing and sealing them away from these energies now bring your awareness back up into the upper levels of earth mind this would be like the uh, in resonance the, the like with your throat and third eye and crown chakra only the, this is the chakras that are resonance in earth mind that allows you to communicate with earth mind directly through the primitive lobe in the base of your brain it's actually the, um, in the base of the spine which was our instinctive animal consciousness as we evolved millions of years ago now in earth mind as we extend laterally out in earth mind this gives us access to the Casey records everything that has occurred in the past everything is stored in the silicon dioxide of the crust of earth the gigantic, gigantic computer chip that holds everything that ever happens energetically in DNA of any living creature. That's the source of instinctive consciousness. And it is a very powerful source of, of influences that operate through our low cells, our animal cells, that allow us to have instinctive ongoing life. That, that patterning, working through your DNA in your system, in direct evidence of the silicon dioxide in your cell walls is what drives and operates your physical body. This is the autonomic nervous system. And actually, that's a higher level yet. And in the Earth mind, it's in the subtle energy system that translates through the crystal grid into the, the higher levels of consciousness, which is the electromagnetic nervous system in the body. Now we take a moment in Earth mind, put attention into your own Akashic records for a moment with your awareness down below your root chakra. Think of your own Akashic records. What is there in pattern in your history, your past? That is a shock or a trauma that is negative to your present reality that causes you to think negatively that, that may be holding the patterns of any illness or abnormal behavior, <clears throat> normal being that which is your highest good and most beneficial experience in life. And if you feel anything, come back to it later and clear it. That's what the clearing process is, the clearing the way to higher consciousness is all about. But at this time, let's work in Earth mind for the benefit of Earth, Gaia, and working with the Gaia principles that 
Earth has a chakra system also, and the, the core of Earth is the heart center of Earth, and the lower chakras are in the southern hemisphere, the upper chakras in the northern hemisphere, and we are in direct resonance with Gaia through this system of just dropping your awareness into the root chakra and lower and reaching out into into the consciousness of Gaia. So we take our awareness now to Southern California and we'll work in the earthquake grid there. Now at the present time there are less there is less activity in that grid and I think it's primarily because of the good work we did the last time we, we were here in our Wednesday show it's calmed considerably down so what we do is simply tune into that earthquake grid through earth mind and when you come into attunement with it you'll feel a, a sensation in your lower body, particularly your root chakra. This is energy, energy of uh, building up in the stress zones of the earthquake grid. Lift that energy upward, up your spine, out through your crown chakra, all the way up to the ionosphere around the earth, where we've created a golden grid of consciousness and release that energy into the golden grid which is a protective shield we've created around earth and since we've created this some two years ago there have not been any detrimental solar flares on earth our grid our golden shield carries sunbursts around the earth and there are none of consequence at this time that we have to be concerned about it also stores energy that we can direct back into Earth consciousness, into human consciousness, to help create more stable societies and a beneficial world. Just feel that flow get established with your intent. Move your awareness northward to San Diego along the San Andreas Fault system. This is all a lateral slip zone all the way up through to Los Angeles. And further north to San Francisco. There is some activity around San Francisco at this time. And this is important that we release those energies so they don't build up into a destructive earthquake. The small harmonious harmonic frequencies are desirable because it allows the earth movements. But it, what we're doing is, is like lubricating the fault lines so that there's steady, regular release of energy. And by pulling the excess energy or lubricating the lines, it prevents the destructive earthquakes. They come all the way up to the Oregon line. That's where we enter into the subduction zone along the Pacific coast. We pause there and go into Eastern California, in the Sierra Nevada range. Quite a bit of activity there, and this is subduction zone activity of that California plate subducting under the main mass of the United States. Lift that energy upward. I move your awareness eastward to Las Vegas and northward 
up that chain of the Rocky Mountains to San Francisco. There is some southern activity there. This is a quite a lot of small earthquakes, but they are in a straight line right up through Utah. So there's a major fault system there. Now move on northward to the Yellowstone. The same region is releasing, having minor movements go, go into the caldera, the Yellowstone caldera. Just imagine, visualize that huge pool of molten lava sitting underneath the Yellowstone Lake. It's only about 30 miles down, as I recall. And that's what releases the heat that drives the geysers. Lift that energy upward. Now take your awareness on northward. Up through the Rocky Mountains to Helena, Montana. There's some minor activity in eastern Washington. Now going to the Pacific Northwest around the, the coastal range of the Cascades of Oregon. A lot of minor activity up through there. It's all about the same level of 1 to 1.5 and that's highly desirable. That shows the subduction is occurring naturally in that region. And the harmonic tremors are almost steady. That's desirable. That's only happened since we've been doing this work. Now move northward along the Canadian coastline. There's a quite a flurry of activity at Yakutalga. This is right on the border of Canadian, of Canada and Alaska, right along the coast. Release that upward. And now move your awareness into South Central Alaska, up to Gulf, and the region surrounding Fairbanks, all the way north to Tanama, Mount McKinley, and there's some concentrated activity in the northwest at Norratok, Alaska. Now drop your awareness down to the Aleutian Islands. <clears throat> Only low to mid-range activity there at the present time. Doesn't look like any major volcanic activity. All the way over to Russia. And southward to Japan, very mild activity, just minor adjustments. But we reinforce the whirlwind we've created using the seismic activity of Japan and the Japan Trench using that energy to lift radioactivity 
from the nuclear reactors, whirling that up into the golden grid, transmuting it into beneficial energy. And even though there's not much activity at this time, we know that's a continuous release of activity and it needs to be reinforced as frequently as we can. Now move southward to the Philippines. Actually, Taiwan is having some activity at Hugh Leon in south end of the Philippines, where there's very low activity at this time. And swing it around to Indonesia in the Indonesian Crescent, the Java Trench. There's a 6.2 at the northern end of Indonesia on the trench, and this is a danger zone. Cause this is where the, the big release of the subduction zone of the Java Trench caused a major disaster a few years ago. Now move eastward to New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, volcanic activity in that region, 5.1s, swing down to Vanuatu, New Caledonia, and Easter to the Tonga region. of Fiji for a string of 4.6s all in a row they're indicating a shift in that subduction zone same thing up in Samoa now we move southward along the Tonga Trench to New Zealand. Everything's mild there. Now we'll move eastward across the Pacific to South, South America. There's some mid-range activity in Chile. Some in the subduction zone of the Peru-Chile Trench and some in the Andes Mountains in that subduction zone. And northward to the Cora Cora region. And on northward Central America. Again, there's only small mid-range activity for the last week. And again, I, in, that's the indication that our intent, our activity, releasing the energy is preventing severe earthquakes. I move eastward to Puerto Rico, Santa Domingo, just the usual shotgun of minor activity there, just release that energy up, helping to lubricate the plate there. Major fault line that loops around from Venezuela to an intense mountain range. Those islands are simply the tops of a huge mountain range that has been subducted. I move eastward to the Mediterranean area. We have some new activity in Greece. Caramoriotostissa. 
This is a, could be some volcanic. 6.9 in that region along the border of Turkey. There are occasionally devastating earthquakes in that region. Now move eastward all the way to Burma, northern Burma, along the Myanmar China border region. 5.5 there. China seems to be quiet at this time. So we return to our point of beginning and move to the central United States around Oklahoma, girthy 3.6, 2.7 into the fracking zone. Stabilize those energies and to use those energies that are releasing to neutralize the pollutions of the chemicals being deposited in the earth through the fracking activities. Now we move eastward to Powhatan, Virginia. An unusual earthquake there, but there's been several in that region in the past year. Now come back to our point of beginning. Lift your awareness upward back into Earth Mind now. And we take a moment to ask Gaia the consciousness of Earth Mind to show us any region on Earth and I'm brought immediately to the pole shift and reminded that our activities in slowing down the pole shift to where it is not a not a disruptive activity but a steady ongoing natural shift focus our attention on the entire gravitational system of earth and the electromagnetic grid of the polar of the poles and the polarity of earth we slow the polar shift down The objective there is, is to, to prevent the pole flip that occurs occasionally that can be tremendously destructive to Earth. All right, that's requiring a lot of energy. All right, and bring your awareness back into your own system and raise up to the level of human consciousness. Extend our awareness out through the group mind consciousness, the morphogenic field of all human beings. And we now allow ourselves to, to become one and assimilate into that grid of consciousness and feel the point of our common evolutionary growth where we are in the scale of rising to higher consciousness and we take our attention to our own Spines now, the spine is an indicator of that level. And take your awareness to your own base chakra. Slowly lift your awareness up, asking to feel 
the level of evolution of the group mind consciousness. And you feel that point just rising up the spine. And it will stop. And it stopped high in the solar plexus level, which indicates that human consciousness are, have risen to the highest level, not the highest, but up into the high range of, of primitive evolutionary consciousness in humans. But we have not passed through the zero point yet into the higher consciousness range where the shift will occur from domination to dominion. Now release that, take your point of awareness back to the spine at that point and ask to see where your point, your set point is that indicates how highly you've evolved. Just let your awareness drift up the spine from that original point. And it'll be above the heart chakra. And you can judge for yourself how high you've risen by the point of awareness where that the movement stops up the spine. And don't preconceive this. This is a wonderful tool. It can be used to measure anything. So with your point of awareness, you know how far you've lived and risen through the 12 levels of consciousness. Most of us in this Earth Mind Think Tank group are actually up into the... Well, I won't say I don't want to preconceive you. Judge for yourselves. I just did a simple little dowsing technique that I learned years ago that you used to measure anything is by putting your point of attention on it, lifting it up through a scale in your own mind, and you'll feel a resistance, a resistance when you hit the point on your scale that gives you your f feedback. All right. Bring your awareness now back on out into the general human consciousness. And we're going to extend unconditional love from the galactic flow into the group mind consciousness today. Just to empower and feel this flow come through the back of your head, out your hand as a radiance of energy. We're broadcasting that into the grid of consciousness Broadcasting our intent into all humans to raise their vibratory level, to raise their set point through feeling, feeling unconditional love, which has within it compassion, tolerance, The recognition of the Godhood in everyone. And the frequencies of dominion. Being able to reach up and access the higher frequencies of consciousness, which is dominion. Where we'll have dominion over all the creatures on the earth and all the environmental situations. As, as opposed to the domination forces that exist today. Our will, our desire, our intent is given through love and compassion and understanding, not as dominators, but as empowerers, so that everyone on earth can make right choice. And the right choice being that which is to the highest and best good of themselves as well as everyone else in dominion and learning the principles of dominion. Those principles mean giving, sharing, empowering, healing, nurturing, guidance, support, empathy, and love amongst all the other powerful 
positive potentials of life. Those directly neutralize the forces of the domination system, which are greed, avarice, control, domination, fear, lack, and the need to control in order to survive. But in domination, there is never enough. That's operating through the low self, animalistic nature that we've already examined. And this is where most of the earth, the world is at this time, is in domination. But every day, it's better and better in every way. Now extend the positive forces of dominion into that domination force, particularly into the tools that the domination forces have created to suppress human consciousness, to pattern human consciousness, to control our thinking, our freedom of spirit and will. We send this, these energies directly to the harp systems. Extend our awareness around the world, neutralizing the heart system, harp systems. We divert those energies. We we go directly into the electromagnetic system of the telecommunication grid, the internet, television, radio, any other means of communication. And we neutralize the domination programming, freeing everyone on earth to rise in their consciousness level and to express in dominion. We prompt those who are creating the, the programs to create positive, beneficial, happy, empowering programs. If it's simply entertainment, let it be joyful entertainment, not negative. We use the golden grid energy now. We take our words directly into the golden grid and from it put a resonance into all of Earth, all of human consciousness, all the airways to neutralize, to transmute the negative the negative things that are broadcast constantly transmute those negative resonances and frequencies into higher level frequencies of dominion. And within yourself now you can feel the shift. This is incredibly powerful. We bring that all our intent to the zero point of earth and into the zero point of every human being so that in every heart center negativity resonating from the past into the zero point will be transmuted into positive energy and experiences and we resonate that into the future. with our visualization being of the world living in dominion in higher frequencies of consciousness and we reach all the way up through our crown chakra now to over soul to the center of high positive polarity letting that be the base resonance 
into humankind rather than the negative polarity of earth mind and the lower octave of consciousness. And we reach out to all the religious organizations in the world who send their prayers to Jesus or to God or any other human figure or center of consciousness. We transmute their prayers into activity, into active realization through this process. Let their prayers, their energy be transmuted away from simply devotion to a a system to understanding the true nature of God and releasing their energy into the golden grid and having that energy transmuted into loving kindness this is the very thing that the religion is spouse but it's controlled through the organized grid of negativity of domination feel that transmutation occurring And the shift into self-realization that every human on earth can go directly to God and become co-creators with God rather than being subjective, rather than having to be And we feel that happening all over the world. Now feel the wonderful, peaceful, quiet shift that's occurring in the world now. Now we establish that with the devic forces of earth mind to hold the form, hold the form, hold the form the positive form of higher self-realization. Lifting all human consciousness. And sustain, sustain, sustain. Bring your awareness back into your own system now. Up your spines and feel the beautiful, peaceful abundance of life, potential, and direct that into your own lives so that all you desire may come to fruition. And the realization that many of the things you desire may not be necessary to the fulfillment of your life, and your indwelling soul path. So let's let life be easy and abundant, filled with love. And feel your hearts fill up now with love and resonate that into all the grids. Your hands are tangling from the galactic flow. Sustain, sustain, sustain. Now bring your awareness back out through your, your soul center 
to the frontal lobes. Open your eyes and be back into this moment of now. And would any of the group like to contribute anything at this point? I am drunk on love right now. And joy. I think it's interesting that every time we do these things, we get a little different lesson. Uh, yeah, today you uh, you hit some hit a few nails you didn't hit before, and uh, made the picture even clearer of what we have to do to get this thing all straightened out. We have a few minutes left. If you have anything you'd like to add, any one of you. I have a question for Frank. Um, I was reading your Clearing the Way book, and I got to the part where you say, um, if, where you're talking about the thinkers and the dreamers, mm -hmm. and you said, if you want a different, if you want to switch to a different reality stream, uh, a different choice of reality, to go into the crown chakra and ask for that stream that you want and you say you would move either to the left or to the right as you synchronize to the stream that you want so it made me think when I read that what if a group of people simultaneously do that and ask for the reality stream of dominion earth earth free and in dominion Mm -hmm. in, a way, bring it in? in a way we're, we're doing that oh, I see. because every time we we create a new principle or express a desired principle we're creating uh, a, a new that new reality and how it interacts out there with all the other realities that are going on is dependent on, dependent on our intent and how much energy we resonate to to accomplish our, our what we're asking for desire and will triggered by intent is the formula times energy that equals all manifestation so it's almost like a triangle desire, will, intent, the three of them act in synergy? You can call it that. It's really bringing the two factors of polarity together into the heart center uh, to release it into the future. Any more comments? If not, we're back to you, Dave. Good morning again. Good morning to you. I am a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're much better natured now, too. Yep. Uh, my voice still sounds like the pits, but that's okay. Sounds cool to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Another great show, Frank. Are you about ready to go? I think so. I think we're complete. Thank you, everyone. Remember just to resonate love, and that affects everything and everyone, not only around you, but everywhere. Absolutely. And we'll... Right Frank and then we'll be back tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific time. No, no, that's mountain time. Okay. So tune in tomorrow night, 5 o'clock Pacific Six o'clock Mountain, seven o'clock Central, 
8 o'clock Eastern. Until then, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. We'll go to... We'll go to Stellar now.